The middle class is generally referred to as a section of people grouped together on the basis of their socio-economic status. Different countries and regions will differ in this status based on their income. Level of development in terms of education, GDP, health infrastructure, and cost of living and level of wealth. What may be middle class in your country could be lower class in another economic block. For example, a middle class family in Africa would look much different as compared to a middle class family in a first world country. In developed economies the middle class constitutes the majority of the population, but in poor economies they form the minority. The middle class are usually the people that lies in between the lower class and the upper class. The lower class is also sometimes referred to as the working class in some areas. The middle class are people who are believed to have good well-paying jobs, can afford good education for their children, own a car and a home. However, in the last decades this group of people has been slowly and increasingly disappearing. The middle class was once the symbol of the American dream and for a lot of people it meant financial security and an opportunity for a better life. To help us understand why this once thriving group of people is disappearing is a couple of challenges I'll be discussing in the video. But before we get into the video welcome to Wisdom Prodigy and on this channel. I talk about money finance and all those interesting things to help you take your financial game to the next levels. So, if this is something that you are interested in give this video a thumbs up for that YouTube algorithm and welcome and subscribe if you're new now let's begin. 1. The High Cost of Living the cost of goods and services have steadily risen at a rate that most families with their average salaries find it hard to live. This means that some of the items that were once affordable have become a luxury and unattainable. In cases where a person had a mortgage, the high interest rate makes credit too expensive, and this makes it hard to buy homes and other necessities like cars. The high cost of living also eats into any increase in income attained over a period of time if the cost of what you need on a daily basis keeps going up then the most sensible thing to do is to increase your income by finding another job or reduce your expenses. People in the middle class category as well as other levels like the working or low class are reeling from the effect of the high cost of everything. A survey in 2018 found that a third of middle-income adults don't have as much as $400 to cover an unexpected expense. The middle class are no longer secure financially and slowly sliding into the lower class instead of going up as one would expect. 2. Stagnated income growth As the cost of living increase, salaries haven't kept up. People have to bear the same income they've been earning for years. Due to various economic reasons a number of employers are not willing to pay more to their workers resulting in income stagnation. Thus. The only options are finding a higher paying job or get a second job and it's not unusual to find folks with two jobs. It's actually very common and if you're a couple that may double the four jobs in the family. The mental and physical strain on the individual working many jobs will definitely take a toll on someone. If your salary remains the same for years and you have a mortgage that you service with the proceeds from your job, you might not be able to continue considering the fact that interest rates and other related charges continue to rise maybe to a point where your income is not able to support you anymore. 3. Childcare Expenses In some countries such as the US, childcare is a very expensive affair. The choice to either have children is a decision that all families have to consider carefully. The cost of raising children paying for their education and college fees as well can take a toll on most parents. In cases where one has an education insurance cover things might be a bit better since the tuition are covered by the insurance policy. But there are still other expenses like medical nanny fees among others. This has left most people squeezed financially or have the feeling of being thrown into a corner. 4. Decline in employment As technology advances. There are services that can be done without necessarily using human labor. This is more so in factories and production facilities, where robots or other advanced technologies are used to operate equipment with very little or no human intervention. The resultant scenario is that few jobs are available and in most cases the very lucrative ones with higher payments, with low employment opportunities which mostly affects the low and middle class leads to a life with many challenges. The harsh truth is these people have to struggle financially to make ends meet. 5. Healthcare Premiums Health is an integral part of every human being, and one will occasionally require finances to address any health issues. Taking a health insurance cover is probably the best option to ensure you are covered and won't need to dig deep into your pocket to pay hospital bills. The insurance premiums are however very high and sometimes difficult to achieve, especially if you have a large family. The unfortunate thing is that with medical issues your personal savings might not help much, as bills can get quite exorbitant. The recent global pandemic has shown us just how devastating health costs can be. Most middle-class people are left struggling financially in the area of medical and healthcare. 6. Loans and Credit 
when the time comes to make a big purchase in life. Maybe a house or car you may not always have the full amount to purchase it. So the only option most people have is taking credit or a loan from a financial institution. You can leverage or use your salary as security or collateral with the lender. At the beginning, things might be good and you're able to service your loan well but in most cases with time change happens and you may find that the interest rate is increased, as well as taxes concerning your loan contract with the bank. Most middle-class people find themselves in this situation and it becomes a real financial struggle to get out of it. 7. Job Security Let's face it it's very rare to find job security, especially in the private sector. Maybe working for the government can sometimes give an employee a sense of security, but not so for the majority of people. For example, during the recent pandemic that hit the world, so many people lost their jobs because most organizations were shut down. This actually happened in a very short span of time and many people had not prepared for such eventualities. A number of people found themselves in very awkward situations and unemployed. Many organizations decided to shut down, downsize or change to something else and there are many middle-class people who have fallen into this situation, leading to financial distress. 8. Lack of policies Policies that address the welfare of citizens can be implemented in form of guidelines to address the financial struggle affecting the middle class. Bank interest rates Withholding tax and other regulations can be tailored to support people to ensure there's no undue exploitation. Subsidies on healthcare insurance can come in handy to reduce the high premiums charged currently. Proper analysis of all the factors affecting the middle class can be done and corrective actions implemented to reduce the squeeze the middle class can find themselves in. Policy should cover education, health, child care, financial institutions and employment to name a few. The policy guidelines should be done in view of managing the welfare of the middle class which might also trickle down to the lower class. Lack of good policies, which is common in most countries worldwide leads to an unhealthy environment which deters the citizens from thriving economically. Policies must be well understood. And people need to be trained and made aware of the same to ensure proper implementation and adaptation. 9. Overborrowing and Overspending there will always be that person who loves overborrowing and overspending in any given society or grouping, sometimes to make ends meet and maintain a specific status. A person may borrow without a proper plan and end up losing everything. Some will borrow to show their peers they have money for the sake of clout. This is a dangerous trend financially, which is practiced by many middle-class people to their woes. Borrowing is not bad unless it is misused. Only borrow what you've budgeted for and what you can comfortably pay. It is wiser to borrow for items that will appreciate like homes, houses and other properties. When it comes to spending your money, plan for it before you spend it so that you can cover your needs first. Any balance should be saved in an interest-earning account. When you overspend on things you don't need and in a wasteful manner you say bye to your hard-earned cash before it has benefited you, this can lead you into a financial hole. As a middle-class person that you will find hard to come out of, you can decide to be practical and buy only what works for you without having to spend too much on the other hand save as much as you can to ensure you're financially healthy and you don't have to borrow unnecessarily. 10. Lack of planning Some people might find themselves in the middle class and they feel they've accomplished their dream or goals. They forget that they need to maintain that position and slump in terms of their finances. They lose sight of one of the most important aspects of finance management which is planning for your funds. Knowing where they go and what they're bringing you in return can spell doom if not done correctly or not done at all. Simply put, one has to continuously put some work in budgeting, allocating your funds and generally managing your resources well. One can go for short courses to support this or learn from a mentor in an ideal situation. The middle class should be an economically secure state where you have a good, well-paying job, are able to buy a home, have a car, and have the means to take your children to good schools. A middle-class person should be able to save for retirement and have a decent pension. To that, the current middle-class state of affairs is not so secure financially. And this is mainly due to economic changes all over the world, the high cost of living, and job insecurity, high childcare expenses, premiums for health insurance wage, Stagnation, rising school education costs are causing the middle class to either stagnate or fall backwards in their finances. If you're part of the middle class and are wondering where your money's been going to, then now you know. Thanks for watching and watch more of our videos if you want to understand more about money. Have a lovely day and see you in the next one.